Hello friends, myself Dr. Smiley Pruthi. I am going to cover this very important topic that is energetics from glycolysis. Be it any exam in biochemistry you are going for, whether it is some theory exam, whether it is some MCQ exam, this uh, you have to be very thorough with the energetics of all the biochemical pathways. So in this video, I am going to take energetics of glycolysis. So let's get started. So in glycolysis, we have energy utilizing steps also and energy producing steps also. So let's first take energy utilizing steps and there are two energy utilizing steps in phase 1 of glycolysis. One step is the first step catalyzed by enzyme hexokinase or glucokinase which is using 1 ATP, right. So, I will subtract this 1 ATP in the energetics of glycolysis. Subtract means this ATP is used, right. So, there is one more step in phase 1 that is PFK1 step. The full form is phosphofructokinase 1 step. This enzyme is also the rate limiting enzyme of glycolysis and this enzyme is also using 1 ATP. So, again I will write minus 1 ATP here, right. So, this was about phase 1. Now, coming to phase 2 of glycolysis, in phase 2 of glycolysis, now it is energy producing phase. So, there are three steps in phase 2 which are producing energy. They are, one step is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme step which is producing NADH and phase 2, phase 2 starts with two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So, all the energetics in phase 2 is multiplied by 2, right? So, I will write it is 2 NADH, 2 NADH will go into ETC. 1 NADH gives you 2.5 ATPs. So, 2 NADH will give us 5 ATPs. So, here I will write plus 5 ATPs, right. We have already taken minus 2 ATPs in phase 1, right. So, let us move further. So, this is one of the step of phase 2. Another step of phase 2 where we are getting energy is phospho glycerate kinase step and this is carrying substrate level phosphorylation short form SLP substrate level phosphorylation step which is producing ATP. So, I will write plus but I told you in phase 2 everything is multiplied by 2. So, I will write plus 2 ATP here right. Then one last step is catalyzed by enzyme pyruvate kinase enzyme and this is also one of the substrate level phosphorylation step of glycolysis and this step is also producing 2 ATPs, right. So, let us do the total counting here now plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 and this is 9 ATPs, 9 minus 2 ATPs. So, 9 minus 2. Therefore, the energetics of glycolysis is plus 7 ATPs and this is for aerobic glycolysis. For aerobic glycolysis, we are getting 7 ATPs, right. So, let us also talk about anaerobic glycolysis. So, in short, if I write energetics of glycolysis, then I will write it this way that one molecule of glucose via 10 steps gets converted to two molecule of pyruvate 
in aerobic glycolysis. Here minus 2 ATPs we have done in phase 1 plus 4 ATPs via substrate level phosphorylation we have got and 2 NAD gets converted to 2 NADH in glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase step. So, these 2 NADH will go into ETC to give 5 ATPs, right? This we have already done, right? But now, in case of anaerobic glycolysis, one extra step, 11th number step occurring, which is 2 pyruvate gets converted to 2 lactate here, right? And here the enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase which converts NADH to NAD, right? So, as everything is 2 here, so 2 NADH, 2 NADH gets converted to 2 NAD and these 2 NADH are used from here, these 2 NADH are used in this last step to give 2 NAD again and therefore, we are not getting these 5 ATPs in case of anaerobic glycolysis. So, now the energetics in case of anaerobic glycolysis will be only this much that is 4 minus 2 ATPs, 4 minus 2 ATPs. So, this is 2 ATP in case of anaerobic glycolysis and I already, already told you 7 ATPs in case of aerobic glycolysis, right? This is it with this topic. Thanks for watching and best wishes to you for all of your exams. Thank you.